Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm sure you all are fine. So, today we'll continue about living things. And our today's topic is life cycle of flowering plants. My friends, nature has gifted us varieties of plants which has been associated with our life. The flowering plants are highly developed plants that are called as angiosperm. Every flowering plant starts life as a seed. Some flowering plants have medicinal value, some are ornamental and give beauty to the place where they grow. So guys, we'll discuss about mustard plant for understanding of life cycle of flowering plants. Mustard plant are any of several plant species in the genera Brassica and Sinapis. Mustard seed is used as a spice. Well, I hope we all know that mustard plant is a flowering plant. The seeds of mustard plant can also be pressed to make mustard oil. And the edible leaves can be eaten as mustard greens. The plant body is divided into two parts. They are root system and soot system. Number one, root system. Roots have two main functions. Number A, to gather and absorb food and moisture from soil. Number B, to store and transport these nutrients to the above ground parts of a plant or the soot systems. The process of absorption is actually performed by the tiny root hairs. Root hairs are actually very small roots, finer than human hair, which absorb nutrients from their very close contact with soil particles. Soil particles are covered within a thin film of water in which mineral nutrients are dissolved. That's why roots are very important part of the plant. Number two, soot system. The soot system above the ground is the most obvious part of the plant. It consists of the leaves, stem, flowers, and fruits. So, let's talk about leaves. The importance of green leaves is easily overlooked. Green leaves are actually the food factory for the plant. In the green leaf, sugar and starches are made for plant growth and for storage in the roots and the fruits. And the most interesting fact is the green leaves is the only living thing in the world that can transfer the sun's light into food energy. Okay, now let's talk about steam. The steam's main purpose is transportation. Steam transports nutrients and water from the roots to the leaves and transports sugar and starches from the leaves to the fruits and roots. The farmer must handle and cultivate plants very carefully so the plant steam could not be injured. They should receive the same care we give our own veins, that is life flow through them. So our next one is flower. The flower is usually the most appreciated part of the plant because of its beauty and tasty fruits. The flower is very important to the plant. It produces this seed for future generation. A complete flower contains the male and female parts that unite and form this seed. The male flower part produces a yellow powder called pollen. The pollen is carried to the female egg by wind or more often by honey bees and other insects. In order to attract bees to carry pollen, many flowers have bright colors and sweet smells. So guys, I hope you got a lot of knowledge today. So sharpen your mind, stay positive and be happy. I'll be back in next session. Till then, you all take care. Bye-bye.